Hi everyone, it's Wendy. I'm back again with a one-page project. Leo and I are having fun with these one-page projects. And so I've just been using up uh, coffee stain paper. Hey darling. Okay. Coffee stain paper that I'm not going to otherwise use. They have digital images that I put on some time ago. And um, I've just been using them up for ephemera that I would need for journals. So today I'm going to show you how uh, with one page coffee stain paper or tea stain paper or it could be a magazine page or whatever you want to use um, you can make a uh, flip. Okay, off you go down. Come on down. Back up, back up. So this is what I've made with one page as the base and this is the flip bit where you would attach it to a journal and I'll show you how to do that later once Leo moves on. Uh, and then I've just decorated the front and then we've got a little pocket in here. You could probably hear him purring. And then I've used, um, like the last project that I did the last video, I've used um, Rachel's beautiful architecture pages and then I've used some of Took's fussy cut mushrooms and flowers. Okay, so let's get started. Let's see if I can move the supervisor along. So this is what you want to do. We're going to fold this within an inch or so to the end. And that's the bit which is going to be our spot where we're going to attach it onto our um, journal. And like usual, I'm using art glitter glue for this, but you could definitely use glue stick. Any reliable glue that you want to use. You could use a wet glue too. It's just going to take longer to dry. Leo, darling. No, no. Off you go, darling. Off. Honey, I've got glue. Off you go. Come on. Wow. Okay. So, he's not taking no for an answer today. He's on to my video schedule suddenly. <laughs> he'd been napping before, but now he seems to be, he's caught on. Okay, so then I just glue that down like so. And then I'm going to do this one the same way. And it's wrinkly, not just because Leo was laying on it, but that's one of the reasons. And you can see it's about an inch or so from the edge. And you could definitely make this narrower if you wanted a narrower flip. Uh, and then just cut a bit of this edge off if you want it. Totally up to you. But I like a pretty good wide flip if I'm putting it in a journal. So I'm just putting my glue on there. Get it on. So how's everybody doing? I hope you're well. We managed to survive the little ice storm we had. Although I know a lot of people in the U.S. have been dealing with it as well, uh, dealing with some really bad weather. Um, so I hope that you are safe wherever you are. Okay, so um, then what you want to do is you're going to flip it up. Now it depends on which side of the page you want your... Um, you flip it up, it depends on what side you want to actually attach it. Do you want your... Um, Okay, if you want this to go over a page like so, like or on a page like that, then I like to put the little tuck spot on the back. But if you wanted it to go on this side, you'd have to uh, fold it up a different way. So we'll fold them up two different ways so that you can see. So I'm just going to go like so and fold this up so that you can see there's where there's the little seam and then this one I'm going to fold the other way and I'm just folding it to different heights and you could definitely if you had a particular height you were looking for here you could measure it there and then just fold to that amount so that has this bit on the opposite side okay so the next thing I do is I want to cut this excess off here to the fold and then 
just cut it off there like that and then this one we want to do the same thing cut it up to the fold and then cut again okay there we go so you can see by this that I'm just going to fold this so you can see where the this is the bit that's going to attach to a journal uh, and it, this one would probably attach that way so it's the same as this one and then this one I'm just going to fold it forward just to get the fold to play with and I'm then going to fold it back and then this one would go on a page like that and fold open. Okay? So the next bit I like to do is put a little notch in my pocket. So there's one there. Oops. And there's one there. Okay. Perfect. Watch is talking to me, telling me time to get up and move around. Doesn't uh, doesn't care that I've already, you know, been for a walk with the dog, uh, but he wants me up and around again. So I'm just putting glue on those edges to glue that down, and as well here on these edges to glue this down. So those are set to go. So the next bit is just the fun decorating, which, yeah, that's awesome. So these, this one is three and about three quarters. I'm just measuring it on here. And this one is just about the same, three and three quarters. And this is six, seven, just over about seven and three quarters and this one is about the same. I have to say I'm pretty consistent. It's a little bit taller. Okay, so what I want to do is I'm going to take uh, some of my some of this beautiful paper from Rachel and I want to cut it to the size that I want. So let me just see is that that's going to be just about the right height actually. So let's do this. I'm just going to cut this. These are, I've already, as I mentioned in the last video, I've already cut these to the right, um, taken off the paper around the edges. Just makes it a little easier. So I'm just going to cut them. I put the two of them together. Um, and we'll go like that. So if this could fit there, and it's a little bit extra at the top and at the bottom, I'm going to, that's okay, I'm going to kind of center it and I think that will be fine. And that's going to be the, the background since Rachel's done all the hard work, her and, and Steffi done the artwork, I'm just going to use that as the background. I'm putting my glue on and you could collage this bit if you wanted as well. Totally up to you. And I'm just going to set it about there. So that makes a be really beautiful background for this. Just really beautiful. And then this one is a little bit longer at the top. And I might just cut off the top a little bit, only because I'm not sure I need it to be quite that tall. So I'm going to take off about a quarter of an inch. And if you need it shorter, now's the time to cut it. Yep. Love this blue. Oh, the colors in here are so rich. Love it. 
So I'm putting my glue, making sure I get to the edge and a skiff in the middle. Okay. So setting that down. Beautiful. Is that gorgeous paper? Like really beautiful paper. Okay, so now we can decorate these and have a little play. All right, so I have some, I still have some more of this beautiful brown paper, and I think it will look really lovely over here as it sticks to my hand. Just, just as a bit of a backdrop. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue down to stick it the first bit and uh, then it makes it easier for me to get a sense of where it's going and then I can just fold it back and just glue where I need it or attempt to. That folded a bit and I don't mind. I think it looks kind of cool that way. Like so. This is kind of like um, mass making. It's kind of like what um, uh, Tina does at Chubby Dabby Duda. Uh, I like the idea of putting a little bit of a lighter color on here. I'm just going to do the opposite jive side just because. Put some glue on the back. So yeah, I'm not a winter sports person. Are you guys? Um, I've um, I've been one of those people I'm plagued with. Um, I was uh, an athlete a long time ago, and uh, then I had uh, some knee injuries and have since had knee stabilization surgery and that kind of stuff. I know stuff you don't need to know, but it um, it did. Uh, slow me down in terms of being able to go out and um, you know just uh, do things like skiing I was never able to uh, to ski it's pretty oh my gosh that tulip is so lovely I think this feels a little bit well if I put it over on the brown it's a little bit better could put like a couple of flowers like we did last time we did kind of a little gardeny thing going on could do something like that I love that there's a bit of a peach up here and let's see I've got that that be no it doesn't really play as nicely with that so yeah, the tough part is just choosing because there's lots of great options. Okay, ooh, what about this one? That's pretty. Can I put those two together? Would that look okay? I think so. I feel like maybe, maybe I need something like this that's a little more substantial. We'll put this pink one here. And then that one there. No. <laughs> I've just seen this and the blues and whatnot. I don't know that they would ever be in the same garden, but who who cares, right? We're, we're creating our own garden. I don't think that one works there, but I think that one does. Okay, so I'm going to stick this one down and attempt to stick this one down. There's lots of spindly bits. These are lovely toque. Um, I saw them. They're one of the... I haven't been purchasing... Uh, well, trying not to purchase anything at all, really, um, for the last few weeks, just because I have so much stuff that I want to use, and it's time to be inspired by what I have. But I did buy the the um, her uh, flower digis. They were just just a lovely size. That's pretty just as is. But I like the idea of putting that in there like that as well. 
So we're going to do that. Put some glue on the back. I wish I had some granddaughter stories for you, but just haven't seen them. And I don't uh, realize we we zoom with them every now and again, the girls, but um, mostly with my uh, kids. We on a weekly basis, I get to zoom with them all at the same time, which is really great. I love that. Um, but it's you know it's good. It's it's a filler. But uh, one of these days, before long, we'll all get together. That is the plan. So, and I hope and wish that for all of you as well. Okay, I'm going to set that up a little bit higher. So pretty. Because I think this thistle, I'm going to cover the bottom of the flower a bit with the thistle. Just so that it, it blends in with it a little bit better. You'd be faster than me at this if you're using um, a glue stick for sure. Here we go. All right. There. Gosh, that blue is so pretty. And this is so pretty too. So I thought it would be kind of fun on the inside as well to um, um, put like a mushroom because they're a little bit smaller and I think they'll, they'll fit in really nice. So I'm just looking for paper here. I guess what I'll use is some of this. I'll use a piece of this. I'm just going to set that in there. And this is um, plate pages from the back of a, of a botanical book. So don't throw them out. They're terrific. Terrific to use for your collaging and whatnot. And this one doesn't have the brown, so I'll put a little bit of brown on it. And I'll set that there and hope we. There we go. So I'm going to just tear that down a little bit, try and get it off my finger. Sorry, my phone is sending me messages there. Or not my phone. Well, it is my phone. It's my watch that's connected to my phone. It's funny how we get so used to our technology, isn't it? I mean, it's distracting. I think it's distracting uh, for me because it's, you know, I see something and I'm like, What's that? That's neat, you know. <laughs> I can't help myself but look. Um, I like those with the brown. Let's see, do we have another little tiny one? Oh, these are cute. These are, oops, those are cute. Okay. Now I may change my mind because they blend in so much. I think they blend into the they are too dark there, so we'll set this down here. These cute little um, kind of greenish color mushrooms. I'm gonna set it right over here. Super cute. And then we'll put these mushrooms on here. Also super cute. Okay. And we'll pick out a label or two. We're doing great for time. Let me see. Where's my where are my labels? Here we are. I'm getting low. I have to cut a bunch more out. I think 
Just pulling out a bunch. Oh, that's nice. Got a lot of the specimen ones here. I'm gonna pull a bunch of those out. Ooh, love that. <laughs> Sorry, I'm probably off screen a bit. But all right. Love these labels, Tracy. You know, I love the Tracy label. Oh, yeah, I love that one up there. So, just going to glue that on. To remind myself to leave time to put this in a book for you. And I'm just going to put it inside the blue so you can see the blue all around it. Isn't that beautiful? Plays in well with those colors. And then there's this one. I don't know that I want the bug. Not for this particular one. I think I want something with a little more, yeah, filed, with a little more of a border. So I'm going to set that there. And I think this one could use a second label. Um, put this one. Yeah. And I'm going to just have it kind of go over the first label a little bit, which I think would be kind of fun. And, and kind of make it sideways a little bit. That is super cute. And I'm going to put something on the back here. Um, just right there. There's a hair here. And surprise, surprise, I don't think it was Leo's. I think it was actually mine. So that looks really cute. And that's done. Oh, this. No, I think I need, maybe on the back. We'll put that on the back. But I think I need something with a border for the front here. Or I'd like something with a border. Um, I think, yeah, and I didn't want it to be super big. Oops. I want it to stick to my media mat here. Okay, so I've got my glue, and I'm just going to go in like that. Sometimes they don't, um, but I think that's super pretty. And then on this side, um, do we want this seemed to want to go there, so we're going to let it. Oops. There you go. So I have, did I put, oh here they are. I have a couple of these cards that can go in here. So we'll put it like that. And then this one. Put it like that. The card. So that's how that would be used. So let's put this. Let's see what how long did I say it was? Seven and a bit. Let's see, which one do we want to put in this journal? I have a journal here in need of a taco or I have a flip of a page here where I thought we could do a flip and just move this beautiful stuff out of the way and should have done that a little bit tidier. Okay, so if we put this one on, it's going to glue on like that and flip like so. Or it could go over the page and attach which is the way I generally like to do them, and then flip like that, okay? So that one would go on that side of a page. This one, however, would go on this side of a page, and it would go like this, or it would go 
over the page like that. And it fits perfectly. So I think I'm going to use this one because I'm using lighter colors in this particular journal. So let's attach it to the journal. So I'm just standing up. Um, and this is what I do. I take my glue, put it on the flip, but don't get to, I leave about an eighth of an inch from the crease. And I want to, and I kind of fold the page in a little bit so I can see that it's level at the bottom or attempt it to be level at the bottom. It's always a process. Got a little bit of time, but not a lot. So now it's glued there. If you want, you could put some pretty washi there or something. Just It's not needed, but it just might be kind of a fun thing to do. I have this nice grid washi. I'm just gonna put a strip there. I think this is actually Tim Holtz washi. And I'm just gonna level it out there. Didn't get all the way up, but that's all right. Pull it off. And that just looks, I think, kind of cute. And then we have our flip right there attached to the page. Uh, you could decorate more on the inside, but I like the idea that you could actually do some journaling on there. And that's it. That is how to make a one page project flip. Okay, guys, thank you so much for joining me. Have yourself a fabulous day, and we'll see you next time. Take care, everyone. Bye.